my video introducing the micro workshop, I also showed the features of my homemade table saw. Well, since then I have improved it because there were a couple of things I didn't like about it. Number one was the lifting mechanism. It worked with wooden gears that didn't mesh very well. They were loud. They tended to get stuck. So I didn't like that. The second thing was that it had uh, the lifting mechanism was kind of bulky underneath. It extended downwards quite a bit and that way it took up space from uh, my uh, dust collection system under here and uh, obviously space is not a luxury that I have. The third thing that I wanted to improve upon was a missing feature that is a sideways tilt to make bevel cuts and the like. And I just want to show you quickly how I solved those three issues with my new table saw. At the heart of the new saw is the new lifting mechanism, which is much more compact than the old one. It works on the same principle, that is, pushing forward a kind of sled. Which then tilts the saw, uh, causing it to uh, lift up or go down. And uh, to move the sled up and down, I have this little handle here. And obviously it's fairly slow, but it's good enough for me. I don't need to lift up or move down the saw so often that it's uh, any problem for me. So I've optimized the size of this so that moving this sled back and forth uh, accounts for exactly the maximum or minimum amount of lift for the blade. The next feature that I've added is a sideways tilt. So the whole saw is mounted on this board here that uh, has an axis on which to turn on the other side. You can see it over here. And you can see it over here. This is the, the handle to tilt the saw. So I can untighten that and I've got an indicator here which is on zero right now and then I can lift it up and I've got some markers here for the most common angles 45 I've got 30 and 20 here and then I can tighten that again um, since I didn't use the best kind of board at the bottom, it, it does warp quite a bit from the weight of the saw. I added this stop here to uh, keep the, the board from bending downwards from the weight of the saw. And here's the lifting mechanism. Although I rebuilt the front of the fence, it has pretty much stayed the same in terms of the mechanism. It slides along these two parallel rails across the saw and as you pull down the lever, it pulls the, the sled downwards and forwards, that is in the direction of the person standing in front of it, and that way tightens it both down against the table and this way against the side of the rails. And that way 
it's very tight. 